social media will be a world where no status updates exist and the drama that comes with them. What if it was a myth of a human's imagination or something that was real, it was talked about will always be something that was.
Yeah, you know, life is scarce. I, I don't know if I would have grown up, but I'm both in this rough patch. I, I gotta go. See you later. Where are you going? I'm just out for a stroll. <laughs> some, some atmosphere. <laughs> uh, those guys. They are, but they aren't. Are you going hunting? Just for a bit. I'll see. Anything I see, I'll just, we, we need the money. What can I say? I told you I don't agree with that. This is the only place those animals are supposed to feel safe. We, we need to look at Not that much. I see them break my keys. 
Why would you say that? I can say anything. Yes, it's your name. You said that was to me. You can't just say things behind the screen. Well, that was to me. No, I'm going back to see it. It was you. It was not me.
officer. In the eyes of the officer, they are all criminals, no matter who they are, no matter what they do. No matter what, what we, we do. do. Six out of ten immigrants migrate for economic reasons, mm. because, because they can't support themselves or their family. 11.1 million unauthorized immigrants came into the United States in 2014. America is a mixing pot of all cultures. If we're, cult if we're a country based off of immigrants, why is there so much hate? Mm.
I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish that the internet was a safe space. <coughs>
um, in the air uh, from audience members of just um, something tonight that you that you saw that made you feel something, or if you feel called to nominate your partner, if you thought your partner had something powerful to share, we do that a lot too. We nominate our partners to speak and to share. So can I get three hands? I see one of brave audience members, and I need two more. And by the way, you're the first people to ever see this. So we've been working on this a lot. I see two, thank you. And I need one more, three, yes, four, thank you. Um, we'll start here and we'll try the mic. This thing's kind of not perfect, but that's okay. Hi, I'm Kalea. I'm Kobe's sister. Hey! hey. <laughs> um, I don't have anything prepared, but I just want to say from the get-go, I like knew I was going to cry. There was just something about the whole energy with all of you that, um, I don't know, you all did such a good job. You hit every point that matters to me personally, and that was so awesome to see out of your young minds and mouths and um, you should be proud of yourselves. You did a really great job. So keep talking about these things. This is the important stuff. Was there a specific moment that just you felt? Um, again, from the get go, I was like, oh, I turned my mom. I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I think, you know, you started off by prefacing it, you know, saying that these are topics that the students cared about. And um, I just think just knowing that and knowing how I feel about social justice and all the problems that are going on. It was just super touching and like reassuring to know that you all talk about this stuff and like it's, it affects all of us and it's so important that this very diverse group come together and talk and make sure you know all viewpoints are heard. And specifically, I don't know, everything, I just, I was, I loved it all, so. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm a mom, so my daughter is one of you on stage. I won't point her out. Um, but this was, I missed the October performance, and so I'm really, really grateful that I was able to be here tonight. Um, but I think one of the things that really struck me is, you know, I'm 46, and it's hard to talk about some of the things that you're talking about here today. And so I think to see you up there at the ages you are having these conversations that felt so authentic and so real. I just think some of the stories that I was hearing seemed so truthful and so heartfelt and really got to your personal experience. And it's hard to share that at my age, much less at the age you are in a room full of friends and strangers and family members. So I was just really, really impressed by how committed you were to, to sharing these ideas and sharing your experiences and sharing what are obviously very personal experiences that you've had. Thank so thank you. So much. you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Hi, I'm Olivia, Ava's older sister. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I think you all did a really good job. A couple of things that kind of really stood out to me was um, the part about cyber stuff with the internet online. And a couple things in the classroom. Like I've kind of seen some of that, but I mean, everyone has good and positive things with different teachers. It might just be your learning style, it might be something you're going through or they're going through. But I feel like you guys touched on that really nicely, and I'm really proud. Um, we're going to shift into um, audience questions. If you have questions about um, how they created this or um, they've, we've been together since August, so questions about the process in the classroom or um, things they've learned or things that have surprised them. So just take a moment and think about if you have a question for any of them as a class or um, for any specific actor too. So if you have a question or something that you're wondering about how they create this or how they came up with their topics or um, a special memory. But um, do we have, do we have, um, sorry, I don't know what it is. Do we have, does anybody have a question? How did you land on the five or six that you did? 
And Ms. Spring mentioned disagreement early on. You have to be willing to work through situations where you don't always disagree. How did you arrive at the consensus that you did about the topics you wanted to cover? Was that difficult to get there? Great question. So let's get a few hands. So how can we how did you come up with how did you come up with these topics? And what were some of the you know challenges around that too? So I see Mara. I would like to maybe three more people to respond to that. So one, two, and a couple more. Go ahead, Susan. One day we were just kind of sitting there and she told us to get with a partner and talk about things that are important to you and issues that you see and we did that and we went into some little groups and talked about that and then we picked out some of the more important ones and we just kind of discussed that and what that means to you and we started writing about it and just kind of... Nice. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, like just like Mara said, when we decided on the issues, we all sat in the and were, and were like, well, who would like, have any of us experience any of these, or is there just one we're really passionate about? So we all just decided to do one that would either experience it or that would been there.
just theater. I think it's more than just like, I mean, basically everything you do in your life is like a, a kind of an art. So um, the easiest thing is just like write a poem or go to a protest or I don't know, start a hobby and like talk to other people about what you're doing and like speak up. Guys. <laughs> um, in the long run, I think it starts with yourself, each and everybody here. Um, and it starts with speaking your truth, things you don't believe in, stereotypes, things you don't advocate, things you don't believe in. Speak out on it. Don't just stand by. And that that's the one way that we can only make change. It's, it starts with ourselves and everybody. You know, believe in what, what they believe in and don't be weighed by the media or anybody else. And that's the way you, you're, you're going to stand. Um, also, I think one of the one platform we can all use is social media because we're all on social media. So when you see someone cyberbullying, calling someone names or whatever, we need to call that person out. And that's one of the I think this was kind of answered, but I'm, I know that all of you kind of bring your feelings and your opinions in and discuss them, but I'm kind of wondering how many of you really felt changed process, either, you know, being challenged with your own feelings and behaviors or your partner's. So the question or the kind of thought is how many of you have been changed or impacted by this process and by being in class together? Is that what I heard you say? Yeah, a couple comments on that. Yeah. I feel like change isn't necessarily going to happen right away, but letting everyone know how you feel about this certain topic that you're talking about <coughs> is a very big step. And keeping it inside and keeping it to yourself is going to do anything. So performances like this and speaking out in what you believe in is going to be the big first step. I'm so excited. I thought you had raised your hand if you were changed. <laughs> but I can, still say I can still say something. Um, so, like, I've had friends that are really, uh, they really wanted attention, so they do, like, anything for attention, and I really internalized that myself. Because I didn't like the way that they act when they were doing that. So I would so I would do every, everything that I could to not get attention. And I would I wouldn't want to say anything that would bring attention to myself. I didn't want to talk about things and I didn't want people to pay attention to me. So I didn't want them to feel the way I did about people that acted like that when they were trying to get attention. And so in this class I've got I've been able to kind of get over it a little bit and be able to be okay with having people's attention and knowing that they don't always think, oh you're self-centered, you're just you're just attention hog. And so it helps me um, be able to talk about things more. Um, I didn't really, like, there's not a big change, but I changed a little by little. And, like, I gained some comfort from this class. And, like, in, after the election happened in this class, like, everybody, like, ex express their feelings but in some like most of my classes we really didn't talk about like my other teachers like they just oh they thought that like it didn't happen even though like some um, students were feeling some emotions and they like needed help or like get to this emotions and Hi, um, I think this really impacted me. I think that it was really life-changing because um, all my partners took, took like in charge of the performances. I didn't really, I helped when I was needed, but I helped them by helping themselves. And so I felt that really made us stronger. And I think that that we made it really awesome. Um I well, okay, that's what it was. Okay. Um so 
I think that I really resonated with what Sophie said in like the question, a couple questions before. And the fact that just by talking through these things, I've definitely noticed more about the subject, like things that I didn't even think about before. And since we've been working on this for so long, and I mean, not really that long, but <laughs> um, I just feel like seeing everything and how people feel so expressive about these certain items really made me feel more open to them as well. Um, yeah, um, so one thing I definitely learned during this class is that you're never alone. You know, everyone has your, you know, not everyone, but there's always someone who, <laughs> there's not always, there's always someone who has your back. And me personally, I always, like, never wanted to ask for help, or I just felt like I had to stay strong for me, and help wasn't, like, really, like, I shouldn't ask for that. And this class has really brought me that, like, taught me that, Everyone, like no matter what, always someone feels the same way you do, so you're never alone. Um, we really push for like the feeling of safe space, like it's written all over the room, and it's really like you are a community when you walk in this room and you leave this room every day, even more of a community and like even more together and like just that feeling of togetherness hasn't left me since I walked into this class on the first day. Because there was one final, did you want to make one final? I see you too. I had a quick question. Okay, I'm going to do this person and then... Um, what was the best joke you heard during this period of time? <laughs> Said by Miss Spring, what's the best joke that I gave? No, I'm not good at jokes, actually. I'm totally kidding. Is it appropriate? No one. No one's a joke. No one or no one? Was there a joke in class that we had? Any comedic moments? We do improv theater sometimes. Was there any good jokes? You guys seem so cohesive as a group. How are you going to take this of this connection and this safe space that you had, and now you won't have it anymore? Are you guys have some sort of commitment to each other to you know always say hi or or keep connected in some way? Folks who well, we'll do a little Hannah, but then I, if there's anybody who hasn't talked on stage who wants to answer this. Um, I feel like since we've become so connected and so close within this time period, it's going to be hard to not speak to any of you guys. Um, I've come a lot. Of, I've come very close with a lot of you guys, most of you guys, and I don't know. It's going to be so sad not talking to you guys and being in class with you every morning because we come so close. And yeah, I, don't know. Yeah. I love you guys so much. But like the microphone isn't for me. It's for me. <laughs> um, so I mean, kind of just, I, I don't think we'll all, um, I don't think, I know a couple of people are in class and stuff, so I'll definitely see each other then, but it's going to be a big change because, I mean, this is like the best way to start out your day is, I used to come to school and like retire and stuff, even though I wasn't on time all the time, I'm sorry, it was still, <laughs> it was still a great way to start out your day and stuff, so, I don't know, I'll take it with me personally, probably. I want to wrap it up so people can go home, but can I see you real quick? But um, also, I just want to say that this isn't, community isn't, just doesn't have to be only in theater. You can bring theater to every, or not theater, community to every classroom, every subject area. Um, you can build community, you can get students learning each other's names, you can get students at other desks. Um, that's something we can bring in safe space um, to every class. And we'll end the night with a, a comment from a theater two student, and then everybody can go home safely. I just want to, oh, okay, I just wanted to answer the question about uh, the community, and as a Theater 2 student, I still talk to a lot of my friends from Theater 1, and some of them already graduated, but they're so 
social media, we still talk, we still hang out. So that feeling of community never really goes away. We're so pretty together. And I'm sure all of you guys will still be pretty together. And also, you guys all did a really good job. You should be proud of yourselves. Tonight, if you you know got something from this performance, um, please spread the words. We can fill these seats tomorrow night. We'd love to have twice as many people here. And um, last few announcements is I know you guys want to put a picture on stage, so make sure you get that. And Savannah and Olivia, who are former students who were in Theater Three last year, will be just holding the donation box at the door. If you want to drop anything on your way out, keep the conversation going. Thank you so much for being here tonight. We really appreciate you. Enjoy your evening. Get home.